so this is the usual uh, training which i follow for mm-hmm. most of the training uh, it's for the corporate uh, trainings so the duration and all so okay. the participants will be more kind of uh, 20 plus participants will be there so the duration will be little bit higher for them so okay. for us as you are only the participant i think we can finish very much sooner i mean you will get uh, i mean it doesn't mean we uh, decrease the topics or we don't cover the topics it means mm-hmm. like we can have the in depth the discussions right okay. we can have yeah. the uh, uh, maybe uh, you can bring up your ongoing issues in your environment we can discuss those as well definitely uh, i will uh, discuss i have many questions uh, it will start uh, uh, in between definitely i will ask uh, who are right now i am working on current uh, same environment in comalt but uh, i have yeah. some uh, doubts and all i will clarify with you yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, so we you know who I am and uh, what we are going to discuss and how this course will be conducted. We just discussed, and uh, this is just for your uh, knowledge, uh, the mm-hmm. education career path. If you want to choose for the com world, so mm-hmm. uh, right now I think you may fall under kind of a six months experience with the com world. Ah uh, yes, I am working, but uh, I need to learn depth. You need to learn. So you are just doing some kind of known yes. operations. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, okay. So I mean, uh, this is this is where uh, I mean you have uh, I can say you have started uh, the training at the right time, so that uh, you will. uh you can opt for this particular certifications path so that it will be helpful for your career growth as well so here there are three kind of certifications available with the comvault the professional one and then the engineer and then the master so okay. master is now called as expert so till 2019 and 20 uh, the certification mm-hmm. name was mentioned as comvault master but now it is uh, modified as comvault expert okay comvault so okay. right so for the what professional is that, uh, what is that mm-hmm. duration i didn't understand 3 months 6 months 12 months 24 months this is kind of uh, experience you need oh, okay. uh, to oh. go for that particular certification so uh basic like a uh, till 6 months of uh, practical experience uh mm-hmm. if you have then you can uh, opt for the professional certification but this is not a mandatory to have the 6 months of uh, work experience but yeah th- this is the preferred path and coming to the professional so there are two types of exams for this one is for the core fundamentals and second one is for the implementation maintenance so once you clear core fundamentals and implementation maintenance both the exams then you will be awarded uh, for the comvault professional certification uh, this is having like uh, two exams hmm one is for the core fundamentals and second one is for the implementation and maintenance once you clear both of these exams uh, you mm-hmm. will be awarded as a professional certificate i mean certification okay. so there will be another uh, process or another exam uh, both of mm-hmm. these combined into one exam uh, mm-hmm. this was introduced from 2021 onwards so single exam for the professional certification Okay. okay you can either uh, opt for uh, two exams or single exam single okay yeah yeah okay the topics will be uh, i mean both the topics will be covered under uh, the single exam uh, mm-hmm. if you choose uh, sing i mean uh, multiple exams for fundamentals and implementation only the respective topics will be covered okay yeah. so this is for uh, the student comfort yeah okay and once you are done with the professional uh, you can opt for 
advanced infrastructure design okay uh, this covers this is a separate training uh, for the engineer engineer uh, certification where you will uh, uh, where you will have uh, exactly the best practices implementation and uh, uh, the designing of the whole environment so Correct. you will go very in depth uh, uh, there and uh, you can have uh, the multiple uh, application level backups and you you will understand the VMware V I mean the snapshot IntelliSnap all those things will be covered under the engineer certification this course will be of uh, around I mean the professional one is around 40 uh, 40 questions in uh, one hour of duration and for the engineer 70 questions in almost all like a one and a half hour of duration okay. and coming coming to the master uh, master wage uh, you will get uh, all in-depth knowledge of everything uh, every each and every options are available in Commvault you will discuss and uh, each and every uh, uh, workflows and uh, options and uh, operations how exactly it will run uh, in the background what are the process it will call out whenever you trigger any job right okay. so that kind of uh, in-depth uh, knowledge will be provided in the master so this is basically recommended for uh, master certification only I mean a uh, lot of people will stop at the engineer level because if you okay. are working from them, some kind of a service based company uh, mm -hmm. the engineer role would be sufficient because it covers all the designing part and supporting stuff but the master with exactly uh, the people opt uh, for master is like, uh, like they want to develop any solutions with the Commvault, uh, like a, uh, any uh, API integrations or if they want to do any customization to their environment depends upon uh, the requirements and if they are uh, bonding with uh, Commvault forever so oh, then okay. uh, they will choose for the master and uh, yeah it's kind of a, a master certification uh, like uh, architect level can say architect level yeah yeah and uh, how do i register uh, this uh, through this uh, commult or some other uh, uh, training centers are there to to get a certification commult only i'll i'll show you i mean uh, once we uh, once we are done with this course then I'll uh -huh. guide you how where you register and uh, how do okay. you opt for the certification mm -hmm. and all. What is the fee a cost for professional Experience. certification? When you compare with the uh, available enterprise backup technologies in the market, Commvault is the cheaper uh, for the com uh, certification cost. It's around okay. three thousand bucks. Three thousand bucks. Okay, it is INR, you are saying, right? INR, yeah. Okay. Three thousand rupees. Okay. Oh. When you take net backup yeah. or any other certification, it will be in uh, uh, um, ten thousand plus for the oh. certification Good. itself. Yeah. But yeah. for Commvault, uh, see, the certification cost is same for professional, engineer, master. There is no oh. differentiation for the cost of the certification. Exam. It's good to know. Yes, it's great. It's some uh, compared to other certification, it is a very right. cheaper. Yeah. Right, right. So that's what. See, in 2019, I can say uh, uh, where uh, when I have done my uh, master certification in Commvault, during that time, all over the world, there were only 55 master certified people for oh, the great. <laughs> You are you you are you, you are also one of uh, that in 55 numbers. Yes, yes. And uh, later, what what happened uh, 
from 2020 onwards they have reduced the cost of the certification and mm -hmm. they have even uh, uh, given the trainings or they have given more popularization for the comball so that i think uh, many 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 students uh, were uh, opting for Commvault learning and they were doing the certification because of the low cost when we compare with the other uh, enterprise pack of technologies yeah. and uh, right now i think uh, Commvault is one of the leader uh, you can see in the gartner uh, chat yes so yeah. Commvault is one of the leader for the enterprise backup technologies it supports all all the uh, new backup requirements, uh, though it is uh, cloud or container or any any kind of uh, solution available or any kind of application coming into the market, the first uh, enterprise backup technology to support is the Commvault. Because I have experience, I have seen many yeah. technologies, so yeah, I can say that because I am I'm working for multiple backup technologies, so yeah I, mm -hmm. I i i know uh commvault is giving huge options Better features, yeah yeah okay uh coming to the yeah the, these are the certifications so we just okay. discussed it commvault professional engineer and the master okay and uh, the one requirement here is uh, to take the engineer certification you should be uh, certified as, as a professional, professional. Yeah. this is yeah. a prerequisite uh, and we okay, cannot take direct uh, engineering certification yes yes you cannot oh okay we have to come and with the, the professional ma after that engineering yes. after that master yeah. after okay. that yes. master master request these two okay okay so coming so today's first topic is to uh, cover the Commvault software overview. So, uh, in the course overview, we will uh, talk about uh, the Commvault administration, storage, configuration, and media management. All these uh, topics we are going to cover in the uh, Commvault course overview. So, so the what is the basic components? or uh, the basic building blocks of Commvault environment. So you have any idea? Like what are the elements you can see when you log in into the Commvault on day-to-day -day basis with, uh, when you are working? So what are the elements you mostly look yes, after? Uh, yeah, it's the elements like uh, storage and the tape library and uh, client uh, agents and servers uh, all what you call that is a client agents means all the servers for our entire infrastructure yeah that is right so the basic building blocks of calm world environment is like calm server and oh, yeah. media agent and then storage and clients followed by uh, each and every application which needs a backup right so <coughs> commvault is a three tier architecture right so mm -hmm. when we talk about the physical architecture for the commvault it's a three tier architecture so what exactly mean by the three tier so mm -hmm. some applications some backup application will be like a, only the two tier architecture and some of the appliances are the kind of a uh, only single appliance, single server can manage everything, right? So yeah. the tire of architecture is, see, here client is the primary, I mean, where, uh, where or what exactly you want to back up, right? So okay. this is, this holds what needs to be backed up right client holds what needs to be backed up uh, what are the files what are the databases right so this is the uh, primary primary tire i can say and the second yeah. tire is the media agent and the first tire is for the calm serve so this is three tires okay calm serve 
what 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 exactly the comserv will do so comserv is like uh, it is uh, heart of the uh, your backup environment or your uh, uh, com cell console uh, i mean com cell environment so all these see com uh, com server media agent client everything uh, in together we call it as com cell environment instead of backup environment in com world terminology we call it as com cell environment so there is nothing no other component called as com cell okay com cell okay. means it's a logical entity for uh, grouping of your com cell media agent and your clients whole environment you call it as com cell okay okay so yeah. com cell coming to the com cell com cell is your uh, uh, brain of your body i can say uh, which gives the direction uh, uh, to do something okay uh, if you are hungry so your brain will instruct you to take some food right food, yeah. so same similarly com serve will direct see uh, if any client needs a backup so it will direct the media agent uh, go and talk to the client and take the backup and store it in onto a defined storage so media agent is a medium between com serve and client to backup the data from client and store it onto a storage location wherever the library you give either it is a disk library tape library or the cloud so depends upon your storage target uh, you can uh, specify uh, where it where it go and uh, store the backup data right so what what are the other functions that media agent performs so whenever any backup happens okay so so what it is backing up so is it backing up only the c drive is it backing up only the d drive is it backing up only the uh, uh f drive or is it backing up everything so that information will be stored as a index okay index okay. means what so you will have uh, a book right so yeah. for the book uh, the first page or the second page what what you can see uh, the contents or the index you will see it right so what yeah. exactly mean by the content or the first page of the book so it will give you uh, the topics uh, this chapter 1 is from this page to this page right and the chapter 2 is from this page to this page the same index means the same so here in the backup uh, backup terminology index will store uh, the data i mean where exactly uh, the file got stored on the storage right that information yeah. is saved under the index so this index is uh, managed under the media agent so com server will only direct the media agent to take the backup right so from this particular client all the jobs and schedules and the operations your job uh, i mean monitoring of the job everything you can do it from the com server but on, media agent will only performs uh, the backing up of the data and maintaining the index and storing it onto the library in case of any restore it will recall the uh, job or it will recall the files from the storage and it will restore onto the client so this is how the uh, flow happens and this is the role of the media agent right? it is a media agent like we will call storage or tape library what exactly that media agent you can say example media agent is a server server okay, okay. server yeah. so com server is a server right uh, you have windows yeah. machine yes. so media agent will also be like a server uh, server windows or linux depends upon your yeah. uh, environment yeah uh, yeah environment you can choose media agents as 
server. These are the servers. Okay. Library is some kind of different uh, storage. Level. What, what are the libraries okay. you have in your environment? Is it the tape library or the disk library? Both we have. Both you have. Okay. What kind of disk library is it? Uh, which storage is an or not? Net, uh, it is a NAS. NAS. Okay. Well, who is it? A NetApp. NetApp. NetApp, NetApp yeah. Store. Yeah. That's good. So NetApp storage is connected to your media agent. Media Correct. agent means your media agent server. So from where uh, the backup and restore uh, uh, process will be happen, right? Correct. So this is how uh, uh, I mean this is what the three tier architecture means. Calm serve is a three tier architecture. When you yeah. Do you know any other backup technologies like uh, net yeah, backup, I heard, uh, yes, um, net, net, net backup, uh, I heard, but actually uh, I don't have much knowledge on that. Actually, I heard that okay. net backup. Yeah. Net backup is a three same kind of a three tier architecture. Same, mm -hmm. um, I mean, master server, media server and clients will be there. And when you mm -hmm. uh, heard about the TSM, uh, spectrum, uh, spectrum Protect, they call it a uh, Spectrum Protect Tivoli, now. Right? Tivoli Storage Manager. Yeah. And yeah. that is kind of a two-tier architecture where uh, it will have like a, a master server and the clients. Oh, okay. They, are, uh, they do not have a media agent, right? Media they agent. Only... They will not have the media agent component. And okay. uh, some of the appliances also MR, EMC, MR, or in Commvault also we do have the uh, hyperscaler hmm. where it will support uh, all the operations. I mean it will not need any separate media agent component but mm -hmm. the uh, appliance will take care of all the backup and storage. Uh, everything mm -hmm. so that is a different part the appliances yeah. and all but uh, this is how you uh, call it as a three tier architecture yeah. okay so yeah. uh, here so how how do you monitor the jobs or where uh, where exactly you can see the uh, backup jobs or the restore jobs right so yeah. in the com cell environment you will have Com cell console, we call it yes. as com cell console. Yeah, we, we were discussing about the com cell console. So, in the com cell console, uh, uh, is the main uh, uh, what I can say the management uh, interface so that uh, all the com vault uh, or the backup administrators can manage. Uh, the environment or uh, they can trigger the backups and restores from the com cell uh, com vault console yeah right so in the com vault we we were uh, uh, having the uh, storage different kind of storage disk storage and tape storage and the cloud storage and different kind of uh, data protection uh, abilities uh, what I can uh, call it as the agents okay as you said earlier so you will have different kind of agents so for if you want to back up uh, Windows machine you will have uh, the respective agent uh, we call it as IDA agent means i data agent in convert okay. terminology i data agent for windows os okay i data agent for linux os i data agent for ax so ida for i ID, ida stands for i data agent this is just a convert terminology but this uh, uh, refers to the respective OS or respective application type. So if you have SQL, you will have SQL iData agent, right? If you yeah. have Oracle, Oracle uh, iData agent. Those are different kind of uh, application level uh, backups you can uh, perform using Commvault, but that requires that uh, specific 
agent needs to be installed along with the Commvault software. Okay. okay. And so you can access, uh, you can have some kind of alerts reporting stuff, uh, everything you can configure in a Commvault. So how do you know? See, you, today you have configured the backup and uh, 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 non-business hours, right? So usually you configure the backups in non-business hours. And uh, so how do you monitor those jobs? So you, you will not get 24 hours of time to sit and monitor the Commvault console, right? So Correct. you can set up alerts so if any backup is interrupted or if any backup is failed or having any issues you can set up some different kind of alerts right so you can configure those alerts to uh, better manage your environment and there are some kind of reports and analytics also available in Commvault to analyze how your backups are happening is there any some set of backups are taking longer time to complete or uh, if some set of uh, uh, backups are taking a uh, huge bandwidth or huge size so everything you can monitor and you can analyze uh, with a reports and analytics right so everything you can perform using commvault console and we yeah. will discuss about those options uh, going forward where do we uh, do all those functionalities right? yeah. so here the com server will have the com server uh, package uh, installed so where uh, com server uh, will store the all the metadata uh, of the uh, backup environment so it will store uh, all the metadata in the com serve itself and the media agent uh, depends upon your uh, requirement and the uh, i mean i can say the configuration you need you can install multiple media agent uh, softwares on the server so it will act as a media agent so for the client uh, we just discussed right depends upon the agent specific to that particular client either windows or linux or solaris or ax so depends upon uh, the requirement agents will be installed over the client right these are the uh, softwares which you require to back up uh, any environment and all your libraries are going to be connected to your media agent so th this these are all we discussed about uh, yeah, the architecture and now coming to the functions of uh, media agent right so what exactly the com server function so we have mm -hmm. just discussed right so the everything the backup schedule right so if you want to schedule any backup job you will uh, configure those mm -hmm. okay. over your com cell console right so everything you can do it from the com vault com server so com server is responsible for scheduling the backups and you can administrate you you can launch commvault console from the com server so that's where you can administrative viewer uh, backups and restores and you can see the events and you even you can uh, do the reporting stuff and the security authentication so how how exactly you will set up the security and authentication that we are going to see Right. What is the backend database where uh, uh, Commvault uh, stores the metadata? So okay. yeah. you have any idea? I mean, Commvault uh, uses which database? Uh, no idea. I need to check. I hope it's SQL, yeah. I guess. Right, right. You're right. It is SQL. So Commvault Com Server is uh, developed uh, with respect to the SQL database as a metadata 
so mm -hmm. that is the reason uh, you can deploy com server only on windows machines not yes. on linux ax Correct. or any other flavors right so yeah. because the only reason is it is uh, having the background i mean the backup uh, the backend database is ms sql so yeah. for the media agent functions so we just discussed right so the same backup uh, to the storage and uh, it will uh, store the index right and uh, the deduplication as well uh, have you heard about the deduplication do you know anything deduplication it can uh, save the some space it will not generate duplicate files uh, oh somewhat correct mm. uh, yes we are going to discuss about uh, what exactly the deduplication yeah. is in in depth also so okay. basically on a overview you are right it will save the space on the storage library it will not save the duplicate files so that is yes. what the deduplication means so uh, here media agent functionality is also the deduplication so deduplication is also falls under the media agent responsibilities along yes. with the index and the storing uh, the data onto the uh, storage library uh, using the data streams so this is what the responsibility of the media agent and in the background this index uses the c3 database so this index uh, will be uh, stored on the media agent using c3 database uh, this is just for your information c3 is one kind of a database like ms sql okay. oh i didn't heard also yeah <laughs> okay yeah, yeah this will, is very uh... old very oh. old i think uh, in the 90s they use uh, c3 okay. database 1990s or early 2020 uh, 20 uh, mm -hmm. I mean, the 20th century uh, they were using the c3 this is very old database but uh, this is how uh, the index is uh, uh, built uh, in com vault using the c3 but we we, mm -hmm. we do not uh, required i mean this is just only for the yeah. knowledge purpose uh, mm -hmm. in future also for any troubleshooting or anything you don't deal with the c3 database okay this okay. is just as a uh, information how these indexes were made okay, okay. yeah okay um, and uh, so these are all uh, about the uh, Commvault uh, media agent and the com server functionalities and uh, coming to the logical architecture so what exactly mean by the logical architecture so we have discussed about the physical architecture right so physical Sir. architecture will have uh, this com server media agent and clients and the storage so what exactly the logical architecture in the uh, background of Commvault console right so in the console you can see uh, the com server and the media agent where i can so yeah here you can see in on the console uh, com server and the media agent listed under storage resources and the clients right so what exactly mean by so how do you back up uh, how do you back up if you want to do any uh, backup so how do you start so what is the yeah. uh, basic requirement so you have installed the software and the client you have installed the media agent software and configured the library you have installed the com server so now so how do you back up so how do you logically uh, relate uh, or configure uh, to back up the particular client A to the backups, right? So once you install Commvault software on a client, uh, depends upon the IDA or the agent 
uh, the respective agent so it, you can see the client under the client computers so once you click on the client computers you will see the agent right so which yeah. agent is installed is it a only the file system agent or is it only the uh, sql database agent right so you can once you click on the client computer uh, you will uh, see the different agents installed on that particular computer so once you select the agent you will see the backup set so this is uh, this is the first uh, uh, set i can say for your uh, 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 client system okay uh, under the backup set you will have the sub clients so what the, what exactly mean by the sub clients sub clients is like a uh, is a parameter or i can say the configuration item where you define what needs to be backed up so if you have if you are having a client computer uh, like a, um, I can call it as client A, uh, where it is having C drive, D drive, and E drive. So if you want to define this particular client, uh, I need to back up C drive, D drive, everything. So you can define that under a sub client. Sub client E sub client means it defines specific data within a backup set. So this backup set means uh, like a whole whole data uh, for the uh, client machine so I, I will I will give one example to differentiate backup set and sub client okay so do you have any idea I mean what I mean what is the difference between backup set and sub client mm, yes I understand backup set is a complete so one uh, agent I will call agent in sub client means number of servers like file server or database as per our company requirement as per our standard we can select uh, backup uh, categories okay. um, not exactly but let me just explain yeah. that with yeah, an yeah. example so see this is your client a okay yeah this is your client a and here you are having c drive d drive and e drive, e drive okay yeah. okay all are with a uh, some kind of uh, uh, 100 gb okay uh, just for example you can uh, take it as 100 gb so if you want to configure backup for this particular client a hmm you need to define this under sub client okay this is your sub client okay here you can mention like a root slash root or you can mention like a all drives right? okay yeah so this is where you can define uh, which needs to be backed up which folder or which uh, file Okay, so what exactly needs to backup? You can define only under a sub client. For oh. any client, okay, under a backup set, you cannot define uh, what needs to be backup. Backup set is a logical entity. Okay, okay. it's a just a logical entity. So I'll I'll let let you know. So what exactly the difference of backup set and what is the use of backup set? Okay, so here you can define a uh, sub client and you can mention all drives so that uh, this sub client uh, will be uh, given to the storage policy uh, so that this will be uh, backed up using one storage policy. What exactly the storage policy is, we'll discuss. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this is what the sub client means. So you understood it, right? So yes. uh, sub client means complete uh, data. We need to define all drive or required drive. Required drive. Required yeah. drive. So within your backup set, you can create multiple sub clients. Okay. Yeah. So so if you want to backup C drive with some schedule, C drive should backup only 
uh, at 10 a.m. Okay, D drive should back up only at 2 p.m. Right. So yeah. if you want to define different schedules for a uh, uh, each drive, so how do you configure? So you can configure multiple sub clients within a backup set. So this is sub client one with a C drive, and this is sub client two with a D drive, and sub client three with a E drive. Right? Yes. Yeah. So if you want to take multiple backups of your client within uh, a backup set so here you cannot define c drive two times i mean uh, within backup set if you want to configure like a if you want to store see this particular c drive is going to store on a storage node uh, a okay this is uh, storing on uh, storage one we can call it as storage one and you want to also store this particular c drive uh, onto storage two also okay what do you do so you cannot configure another sub client under the same backup set with the same uh, folder or same uh, same folder we can call it as same folder so under the backup set you will have only unique folders for your sub clients okay you understood it right so yeah. for c drive you cannot have two sub clients under the backup set so what okay. do you do you you will create another backup set b2 so this is b1 is a backup set one this is b2 so b2 where you can create multiple sub clients similarly to the b1 so here you will create another uh, sub client one with a c drive right this c drive you can give it over here and you can define a storage policy to back up to the storage device two. too so yes. this is the example so of a uh, i mean uh, how you differentiate backup set and sub client yeah you get it yes uh, here it is a backup setup you can uh, configure uh, two places and you can point to storage one or storage two right so basically under the backup set you can have multiple sub, -client. sub clients but yeah. only the unique uh, unique folders okay okay if you want to have uh, multiple uh, um, i mean the similar duplication mm. uh, you need to create another backup set so that uh, it will be uh, i mean you can under the different backup set you can have the uh, duplicate uh, backup okay but all the is uh, whatever backup set and all these called policy or uh, what exactly no. you will call this is like uh, see uh, this is uh, i mean uh, under the see under the client so where i can show you uh, yeah I, i'll i'll show you once you uh, once you once yeah. we uh, uh, I mean, you can share it uh, your screen, right? Uh, where we can see the environment, uh, and uh, yeah. I can guide you over there, uh, the yeah. practical environment. Or else, uh, once we get the lab session, maybe for tomorrow or day after tomorrow, uh, mm. I can show you uh, yeah. those as well. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay. So here it's a kind of a logical, uh, uh, I mean, entity under the Commvault mm. console here. If you see, so under the client computers, you, you will see client A, client B, client C. So once you click on client A, you will see the agents. Okay. Once you click on the agents, you will see the backup set. So once you click mm. on the backup set, you will see the sub clients. So this is the logical architecture of a client. Okay. How do you back up? So if you want to back up, the first thing is what needs to be back up, you define under the sub client. Okay. So yeah. where it where it should store. Okay. 
how do you define where it should store so it should store on storage a or storage b or storage c right so how do you define that using a storage policy so this storage policy will have the media agent and the library right and the retention yeah. so how long you need to store that store particular data, data right yeah. so yeah. this storage policy means uh, where where you need to store the data and how long you need to store the data right yes if you want to use media agent a or media agent b or media agent c you need to define that under the storage policy okay yes. the storage yeah. policy will have the data path data path means uh, the storage where, path where it where, will store where, where it will store right and the retention so you will define this particular sub client a to the this storage policy if you associate this sub client a to this particular storage policy one then it will follow the uh, rules defined under the storage policy and it will store onto a me uh, storage library a uh, using the media agent a so this is how uh, this uh, policy works and how do you uh, schedule this when you need to run the backup so how do you define so for each sub client you can configure a schedule right so that under the sub client you will define uh, what needs to be backup and you will associate which storage policy it, ne it needs to be used and you will define uh, you you will define a schedule when it needs to be run at 9 p.m. Yeah. daily or 6 p.m. daily so that kind of schedule you can define under sub client parameters okay right? so the basically your sub client is your uh, primary check where you can see what is backing up where it is storing and when it is backing up yes yeah each and every information about the backup you can see it at the sub how exactly your console look like is uh, here you can see so this first one uh, csv csv cs uh, double one you can see it right com server v11 so that is uh, com server so when you uh, first install uh, your com server and you open the console 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 you will see this page under the home you will have uh, the com cell and the job controller event viewer alert scheduler everything under the toolbar and uh, under this com cell browser you can see the com world com client computer groups client computer security storage resources and the policies reports uh, everything the one the, tell the workflow right so this is we yeah. each and every uh, uh, item uh, we will uh, go through on the lab session okay yeah. so uh, at this point of time uh, we can just discuss about uh, where do you exactly see the sub client and where do you exactly see the media agent right so under the client computers you can have uh, all the clients uh, upon which the Commvault software installed and uh, you can go under the sub client and under the storage resources uh, you will have media agents and the libraries right and Correct. the deduplication engines right and under the policies you can have your storage policies and the reports and the workflows so these are some kind of uh, different topics which we are going to discuss later yeah. so this is how you can uh, view the com cell console and there are different views uh, and you can customize your view i mean you can launch your uh, job controller uh, side by side window or 
floating window or you can hide the browser so these are all we see uh, in the lab so how do you basically navigate uh, uh, from uh, one page to other I mean one uh, client computer space to the job controller or so how exactly we do uh, we'll see it under the labs so okay. apart from this uh, com cell console we do have a uh, web console and the uh, admin console so admin console is now called as commvault command center admin console was there uh, till 2020 i guess uh, from 2020 onwards uh, it is renamed as commvault command center have you heard about the command center no, I heard only web console. Web console only. Okay. Yeah. So web console is a kind of a web of I mean uh, web view, so which you can access through any uh, internet uh, explorer or uh, Google Chrome or any browser. You can access web browser. You can uh, access the uh, console. Commvault console or Commvault uh, environment, right? So, yeah. how do you access the Commvault console? Console is kind of a kind of application you install on your administrative server or com server, right? So, if yeah. you have any com server or any proxy server where you can install Commvault console a console package, so that you can launch your uh, console convert console and you can uh, you can ma administrate your uh, backups and restores and everything under the uh, application on a server but these are kind of a web console and web servers which uh, you access using your web browser right okay so there are multiple options available depends upon the requirement uh, you will use the different consoles and uh, we will go much deeper uh, how when do we use uh, these consoles and how do we use can you go, go back uh, slides now it is in common to have uh, three console right it is a web console and admin console and command console this is command command prompt I mean, this is just uh, a remote. Through, yeah, window. Through command yeah. mode also you can uh, control console administration. Only the limited tasks. So uh, okay. basically, uh, I can say ninety percent of the control you can do it. Nine, not ninety. Everything you can do it from the console itself. But okay. there are some. Uh, specific uh, requirements the unique requirements from the applications uh, to run these backups using command line then only we go for the command prompt uh, yeah i'll i'll uh, uh, show uh, once we are in the lab so how do we use the command prompt to uh, go to the or uh, i mean how do we operate from the command prompt Okay. Here, what Not is the difference each and every here? operation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, here, uh, it is web console and admin console. What is the difference? See, admin console is kind of a uh, similar to the com cell console. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, where, where you can uh, um, monitor your backup jobs and monitor. Uh, you can uh, configure the backup mm -hmm. jobs and uh, you can do a lot of customization you can use it as a console console itself but only difference from con Commvault console and admin console is like it is a web based console i mean you can access it from the web browser okay anywhere okay. you can but access are, this both, from your mobile are, also oh mobile so i can access through through web console or admin console through web co admin Broadcast. console see web console is different okay i'll, I'll uh, come to the web console part so yeah. uh, admin console or right now we call it as convert command center so this command center or admin console 
you can access through any web browser okay okay so coming to the web console so what is web console web console is for your uh, mostly kind of your reporting stuff mm -hmm. so this is a large forum uh, uh, you will have your uh, uh, some kind of applications if you want to download any packages or if you uh, want any customized reports or if you want to access or if you want to launch this admin console or if you want to launch any command center so you can do it from the web console okay web console is a web based browser where you can have your uh, reports available uh, and you where you can have your uh, download packages or where you can have uh, your forums right okay. so everything yeah. you can uh, do uh, from the web console yeah right so this is just a difference and we will go go through uh, these uh, you, once we are you, usually you, usually common admin uh, which console you will use uh, with the regular activities and all Commvault console mostly uh, administrators backup administrator will use Commvault console console as an application and okay. uh, only uh, see if you want to give uh, access to uh, your SQL administrators so mm -hmm. you can uh, or if you want to give uh, access to your VMware team to manage uh, VMware backups to uh, I mean instead of uh, you managing as a backup administrator you can give them access right so you for them you can uh, uh, give this uh, uh, web web browser so okay. so that uh, they don't need to install anything on their machines uh, like a Commvault console right so they can yes. just access through the uh, web console and uh, manage yeah. their backups and restore so generally uh, as a backup administrator, it depends upon the availability. They will use the, uh, the different consoles. Yeah. Okay. So, coming to the user and group security. So, what exactly mean by the user? So uh, under your uh, uh, computer, so you can see the users, right? So uh, yeah. have you, uh, uh, I mean, uh, do you know, I mean, what, what are these users? Comsel users, Comsel users is one of the Active Directory user and groups. Mm-hmm. So how do you generally log into the com server? I mean console. No idea. I mean, uh, how do you, I mean once you launch your console cell console, so what credentials you give are those AD credentials yes, or AD, uh, ADM account? ADM account. ADM account. So you are using your AD credentials means uh, under this com vault security users your ad id is integrated right so Correct. under users your ad id i mean your id is uh, integrated with ad and that uh, ad uh, domain uh, the active directory domain is uh, configured in commvault so that you are able to access the yes. console Exactly. What if you do not have AD? So if you are not having AD, uh, then you can create a user, okay, uh, mm -hmm. for the console, Commvault console. So uh, username and password you can give only those particular users with the password credentials. You can log into the Commvault console. So this uh, is. Uh, to manage your console you can give you can specify the users under 
this particular security users and you can have multiple users uh, to be created uh, in your backup team if you are having 10 or 11 people so uh, you can give you can create the users under that user section so that each and every team member can access so in your team for suppose if you are having 10 members so mm. each and every person may not have the uh, sme level or the master level of skills to perform mm. the task right so maybe some of three or four members will be kind of your freshers and uh, yeah. three or four members will be kind of a mid level or, mid -level, or maybe yeah. one or two or kind of a uh, smes yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe be a single person as a whole master of the yeah. com vault right so when you have different skills uh mm -hmm. different operations they're going to perform so how do you define those uh in your convolt console because if you give fresher to the full access if uh, if they perform something else uh your environment will go down right correct yeah very so true. how do you control that you give so, like uh, read write access uh, something like that to have some kind of access level permission level. right so yeah some kind of that that what we call it as capabilities and uh, the roles okay role based access so okay. if you are fresher role you can have limited privileges limited capabilities assigned to your particular role right yeah so you can give backup and recovery role they only perform they can only perform they can trigger backup and you can define multiple capabilities you can see under uh, that particular section so if a user can uh, allow to do only view the schedule or if he allowed to create a schedule or delete a schedule so each and every uh, granular level of operation you can define under the capabilities or under the uh, user defined i mean uh, the role based access right so if you want to give uh, sql admins to view their backups you can give only the uh, sql dbs to the view access to only their particular SQL servers, right? Yeah. So there are a lot of customization you can do depends upon your requirement. So this is where you do uh, the role based uh, access to your, uh, I, I mean, uh, company people. Yeah. yeah. Right. So this is based on uh, the rule based and uh, uh, once we are uh, going on lab, uh, we'll uh, discuss about, uh, I'll show you what exactly, uh, how do you configure and uh, how do we uh, use these, uh, uh, I mean, uh, on day to day basis, right? Yeah. So, there is one more uh, feature available uh, for the role-based access is quotas. So, what exactly mean by the quota? Any idea? Quota, quota is um, we need to set uh, it is uh, the space maximum we can access. Right. So, when you talk about the uh, storage point of view so you can define quotas see basically you can see this quotas under the net app or any yeah. file server or file shares right mm -hmm. so you can uh, specify like uh, 500 gb for one particular user so that he cannot use more than 500 gb of the uh, uh, quoted storage or uh, allocated storage right Correct. So if you are having like a 2 TB of uh, disk or 2 TB of share, and if you mm -hmm. define only 100 GB of quota to one particular user A, he cannot mm -hmm. use more than 100 GB, even though the share size is 2 TB, 
right so that's it, that is what it means by the quota but uh, because i mean depends upon the usage if user wants more uh, data to be stored so he will request to the admin so that the admin can increase the quota to 500 gb so that he can use the uh, storage up to 500 gb right yes so suppose if i set 100 gb for one user he is already mm -hmm. he is used uh, 100 uh, gb of data then in, mm -hmm. in that time user will get any notification or yes. how do we get to know that uh, your quota is completed yeah I'll, I'll i'll come to that point okay yeah. uh, so i mean that is i mean till now what we have discussed that is quota at the storage level i mean yeah. uh, if you are administrating the storage devices that is the quota we just discussed similar to that in backup environment in com vault you can specify the quotas per a user see one particular user user a is assigned uh user a is the owner of client a and client mm. b two servers mm. are given for uh, user a so those two servers are associated as a owner to the uh, client i mean user a okay client a and b are given for the user a and if you define quota as a 100 gb so both the systems uh, when you are backing up both the systems, you can back up only up to 100 GB. So if okay. client okay. A and client B are having 10 GB, 10 GB of data, so you can, uh, as quota is uh, uh, 100 GB, 20 GB is uh, false under 100 GB, then your backup will be successful for both client A and client B. But okay. uh, somehow your client A uh, filled up with uh, 200 GB of data and client B is filled up around only the 10 GB of data. So if you run both backups at a time, uh, if user, I mean, this backup data is more than 100 GB, right? Correct. So yeah. this particular backup will be failed with as user Ex exceeded uh, the okay, user quota. defined quota so yes. uh, instead of see here uh, there are notifications as you said you can create a warning message uh, depends upon the threshold you can define if you want to get a warning message at 80 percent or 90 percent you can create uh, the threshold while defining the quotas for a particular user you can define the threshold if you want to get the alert at 80 percent of the usage you will get alert and by default backup will not stop at 100 percent backup will stop at 110 percent so it will just give uh, a uh, uh, what i can say uh, uh 10% some kind of buffer will, yeah. yeah yes 10% buffer, yeah. buffer it will add right okay so th this is how the uh, quotas usage yes okay okay and uh, so when, i mean uh, if we are uh, upgrading from comvault version 10 to version 11 uh, so you know what kind of version we are in at this point of time or what version is the latest i think 20 point something is there yeah it's a v11 version is going on right now v11 yeah. version and sp24 or 26 is the latest service pack sp means yeah. service pack Yes, so we are on yes, we are on we are on version 11 and service pack uh, okay. service pack 26 is the latest so uh, i think in 2015 or 2014 uh, they have started version 11 so before that version 10 was there so 
this particular role based access feature is given from version 11 onwards so when okay. Uh, any customers who were having the legacy like uh, version 10 of com server and they are upgrading to the version 11 so automatically uh, the role based access groups were created okay, okay. this is for this is just for uh, who are having uh, knowledge of version 10 and uh, if they are experiencing or seeing these uh, uh, system created roles uh, these were created only because of the upgrade from version 10 to 11 these are some kind of default roles created uh, when the user upgrades from v10 to v11 uh, currently uh, how 11.2525 okay it's a v11 and sp 25, 25, but uh, whenever I'm running that uh, console, no, it will uh, showing a notification. You have to upgrade console uh, 26.27. Okay. Okay. The, 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 I mean, you will have the notifications um, uh, with respect to the uh, latest yeah. service pack. Uh, yeah. But uh, this is what, uh, I mean, uh, how uh, the, the roles uh, usage. Okay. Yes. Okay, it will show in console version is the first 11 is version 26.27 is uh, what you call uh, that package sir service pack Right 26 v11 uh, is the version 11 version mm -hmm. uh, number is 11 and uh, mm -hmm. the behind the number is uh, SP means the service pack 25 okay. or 26 or okay. uh, yeah. a, any other number which you have okay. so here the Commvault computer group so we have just discussed about uh, uh, I mean the SQL group right so in case of any use case scenario like if you want to give an uh, if you want to give only the SQL DBS access to only SQL servers so how do yeah. you give that particular uh, I mean how do you configure that right if you want to yeah. do uh, that particular configuration you need to define all the SQL servers into one group so Correct. under the console console you first item console browser under the com server you will see it as Commvault, I mean the client computer groups. So it's a group is kind of a just logical entity of grouping the multiple clients. So if you want to have SQL as a one group, uh, you can define all the SQL servers uh, to that particular group. If you want a Linux, you can create a Linux group. If you want yeah. Windows, you can create Windows group. So what is the advantage of giving client computer groups see uh, you can uh, create multiple items so if you if you want to apply the patching or if you want to upgrade all the windows machines at one time or if you want to trigger backup for all the windows machines uh, at one time so you can come to this group and you can trigger the operations instead of going to each and every client and trigger that will take a lot of time right so if you are having a big environment you can make use of this client computer groups okay yes so this is what the advantage of having uh, client computer groups you can uh, define uh, activities like uh, backups and you can define the security security means role based access uh, if you want to give linux admins to the only access the linux servers or linux server backups if you want if they want to view only the linux servers backups uh, yeah. they don't need uh, they don't they don't need to care about uh, uh, windows or sql right so they just yes. need only the linux servers to be viewed once they log into the console so you okay. can give that type of uh, customization uh, at the client computer groups 
these all the options like a client uh, computer groups uh, and all these options activity mm -hmm. securities group you can see only com server or agent only Where under the see? console under the console okay agent yes. is oh. different right agent is different under the console combat console browser you hmm. will have all these options client computer groups and everything client computers security yeah. uh, you can see it under the console okay console. okay yeah yeah on where the agent will come agent is only uh, uh, server level particular, or... uh, yeah server level yeah yeah you can have multiple reports or updates or you, if you want to see the history of the, your backups you can see for all the clients at a time using client computer groups and yeah. what is this com server dr backup so com server we have discussed right com server will have your metadata and uh using sql database right yeah so this com server will store under c drive or d drive this sql database but we need to protect that particular database right correct so uh com server uh, will store the metadata onto a one particular c drive or d drive but we need to protect that particular database uh in in case of any uh disaster scenario if yes. we want to recover uh, the com server so we can recover from this particular uh, dr backup so dr backup uh actually uh, consists of these database component so this particular com server db is backed up using dr backup so we call it as dr backup so whenever yes. you configure com server for the first time and the media agent and the disk library so the automatic policy will be created first for the your com server dr backup so this is one of the exam question what is the automatic storage policy and the library i mean once you create the media agent and library this is the first so storage policy it gonna create automatically com vault okay one suppose okay. if i add additional any media you sorry agents it is by default automatically it will create a dr backup for policy and everything this will be created only for the first time once you create the media agent and the library later you can change uh, if you want to store your dr backup somewhere else you can store you can define another media agent and so this is not kind of like a one every time you add new media agent it will not create the dr uh, storage policy okay uh -huh. this is first time you are building your commvault console or commvault environment so it will create the first storage policy for the dr backup okay that uh, what how about the replication and all if any changes is there in data center the and dr backup also the same thing it will replicate uh, no th those are all different things okay i'll, I'll okay. talk about that later okay uh, uh, yeah. replication is something uh, different okay mm -hmm. uh, so but right now it is a dr backup means you can uh, have your dr backup uh, as a local dump means uh, on the same com server uh, you can uh, allocate like uh, any other d drive or c drive you can mm -hmm. uh, have your db dump so from where uh, it will be backed up using dr backup like c drive dr backup dump folder mm -hmm. so that particular folder will be backed up using dr backup and you can export uh, this dr backup to unc path you know what it means by the unc path mm -hmm. no 
it means like a share nas share okay, uh, okay. it is the best practice to store uh, your camserve dr backup onto a unc path storage. so that yeah nas storage so that uh, you can access it from anywhere right it will be any server it, uh, it, it can be accessed. Can access. yes yeah so once it is down for the faster recovery uh, you can save it on the uh, unc path and the third phase is for the backup so what it means by the backup so using comvault uh, dr backup so it will uh, backup that particular database to one kind of library tape library okay. or disk library whatever you specify it will be copied on to that particular library so these, these are the three phases okay first it will locally dump the database uh, metadata onto the com server uh, any local drive and then okay. uh, second phase is Sequence. to export and the third phase is to backup to any disk library or tape library what is right? U, U, unc that's a uh, unc stand for uh, I don't remember that is uh, uh, yeah, universal something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll come back to you later. That's yeah. a kind of a storage terminology. We, yeah, yeah, fine. Uh, yeah, but usually it is a NAS share, which can okay, be yeah. accessible from anywhere. Okay, yeah. Okay, and uh, so how, in case of disaster, how do you recover this calm server, right? So. Yeah. This concept DR backup is useful in case of any disaster. If you want to recover yeah. Calm Server database, you use a Calm Server disaster recovery GUI tool. This particular tool uh, is useful uh, while you recover the uh, Calm Server database. Yeah. Okay. okay. If you want to recover the database, you need to use this Calm Server disaster recovery tool okay yeah okay so these are all about the calm server dr backup so i think uh, today we have uh, i mean just i'm just recapping what we have yeah. discussed today yeah. so uh, tomorrow we'll go for the storage configuration and media management but today we have discussed about uh, the Commvault physical architecture right yeah. and the Correct. logical architecture logical architecture the sub clients and the backup set and the different be difference between the sub client and the backup set and the com yes. server functionalities media agent functionalities right and the com yeah. vault console different type of consoles we have and w what are the users and user groups and uh, what are the advantages of having role based access and uh, how yeah. do we use quotas right and what yes. is the dr backup and the client computer groups so these these are all what we have discussed today and uh, uh, you just go through these. Uh, I mean, I'll share you the student guide as well with you yeah, uh, yes. for your reference, and uh, 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 and you can uh, uh, make some questions or make uh, any doubts uh, with this particular lecture, and we can yeah. discuss it tomorrow. Yeah, fine. 